Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started on uh, Tipco BWC210 on Docker. In this video, we will going to uh, cover a simple sample REST application which I have already developed in my previous demo. And we will going to create a Docker image for that uh, sample application and then finally push it on Kubernetes instance which is running on Google Cloud Platform. So you need to download uh, this studio from uh, the shared link and you can also download BWCEF uh, zip file which is the runtime for BWC and also you need to download uh, Docker and GCP uh, sorry the G Cloud uh, CLI and the Kubernetes CLI. So you can see in the studio this is my sample app I am switching uh, the container platform to Docker. So it will get started. So the studio is started you can see the container platform as Docker. So I will export this particular ER and uh, keep it uh, locally in my laptop and uh, I am using docker machine to just show you that uh, the docker is running docker host is running locally on my system this is the ER which I have exported and this is the docker file so you can see this I am pointing to this uh, ER which I have exp uh, exported and I am also using the base docker images tipco bwc so I am just creating uh, I am showing you the docker images which are available on docker host so you can see uh, this is the tipco bwc docker image which is the base docker image now um, these are the commands for docker and kubernetes uh, i have showed you docker machine ls now we will do docker build so i will use this docker build and build a small uh, this sample application so you can see the docker build is done now if I show you docker images you can see tipco awesome app uh, docker image available. Now uh, I'll just going to run this. So seems like uh, this container is running. So let's see using docker ps hyphen a and uh, you can see the container is running. Now I will show the logs for this container. So if I do docker logs bw rest app you can see the logs over here now let's open this application in browser so this is my uh, docker host ip address i am i have put it on 18080 and you can see the response so this is the same response which we saw in uh, in studio now i am tagging it on uh, gcr which is google cloud repository and this is my google cloud platform account uh, there is a project which we have to create which is tipco 1294 and under container engine you can see this is the cluster this is the google cloud cluster you can create your own cluster and this is the container registry which is basically gcr.io you can see all your docker images over there now i am pushing uh, this awesome app for docker images which i have just tagged uh, with tipco-1294 which is my project id you can see it is pushed and you can see the docker image over here now I am using Google Cloud Platform and uh, here there is a cloud shell, Kubernetes cloud shell from where I can fire Kubernetes uh, commands. So I am just running that awesome app docker image. So it is created. Now I am binding that to, uh, I am actually exposing it as a load balancer so that uh, this particular image will be exposed as a external service. So I am doing kubectl to get uh, services and you can see there is no external IP yet assigned to this docker image. Uh, I am doing get pods kubectl. So you can see the list of pods. I am just doing kubectl logs of that pods and you can see the logs of this uh, rest application. I am again doing get services and I this time got the external IP which is the load balance IP. And now I am hitting that service with 8080 port and now you can see the response.